what is going on guys unite the clans here back in yo life and this is the first episode of building with utc in a very long time i'm sorry i've been away guys i lost my inspiration a little i have to be honest it happens uh, i also joined a new server on arc survival evolved and i got so hooked on plan that i stayed away a long time this is our temple of nature it is an underground uh, worship place for the people of hollow grove which is the settlement we worked on for pretty much all of this newest season of building with utc and we're pretty much done this is great i mean i, I had had plans to continue working on the village which we'll wander through on our way back to the shore uh guys i think we're gonna set sail and return to Ocean's Gate, where I spent all of season one of building with UTC, and I think where we're gonna spend the next chunk of this season. This is the mega tree, this is the holy tree, and underneath in the roots is that giant tree-shaped altar. Oh, hello, freak, get destroyed. Hey, get destroyed, fool. Uh, I gotta remember which way we go. I think it's this way. And uh, I'm gonna take you back through Hollow Grove, uh, which is the name of the song that's probably still playing, and, um, we're gonna we're gonna make our way back to Ocean's Gate, which doesn't have a song of its own, to be honest. Break that, get lost. Um, the people of Hollow Grove, I really got into role playing, and uh, they are half Hobbit, half Native American underground dwellers. And instead of roads, these are their pathways. And instead of full giant visible builds, these people live underground. And um, I'll show you when we eventually get to one of these little uh, villages, one of these little builds along the way. Hey, rabbit. Uh, I had a lot of fun building here, guys, but I, I kind of want to get back to the OG, to Ocean's Gate. Gator's gonna gate. Uh, it's been too long, and I think if I need a little inspiration, it's gonna come there. So this is just an unfinished one, but we've got some uh, more polished, more complete uh, underground houses over this way. This is the full-on one. Here's the best one I built. Uh, it's got a little fire pit in the middle, which I never took the time to light because I was afraid it would light everything on fire. We got some rooms off to the side. Again, nothing really crazy complete in here. Like I said, guys, I lost a little bit of my motivation. I lost a little bit of my mojo. Uh, I lost a little bit of my desire to work on this place. And instead of moving back to the OG, I just stopped playing, which is a bummer. Uh, and I really want to get back to it, but... Oh yeah, we did a lot of Elytra flying, I think. I don't know if I've got one stored here. Let's have a look. Yes, it's in rough shape though. So I'll take that. We've also got some maps. I don't want to leave those behind. Uh, let's have a look at what they are. So this one is of this continent. You know what? Why don't I leave this one here? Map 4. Do I have another map 4? I don't. What are the others? Let's have a look. I think this is the one in between here in Ocean's Gate. No, that's past. That's if you keep going past uh, Hollow Grove. And then this one is of the in-between. So this is what's in between Ocean's Gate. God, it's a blur. I barely even remember. Okay, no, that might be even further. Okay, so let's take them all. I'll store them back at the base and hopefully we don't sink and drown. And with that in mind, I'll throw on some armor. There we go, we're geared up and I've got lots of extra boats in case this one breaks, but this is 1.9, so boats are great. They're better, they don't break so easy, and they don't glitch nearly as much. Come on, turn around, fool. There we go. All right, guys, I think it's just this way. Come on, straighten out and go. Perfect. I think we just, oh yeah, get out of my way, fool. Perfect, guys, so I, oh God, this is, <laughs> uh, I think I think it's roughly this direction. Um, I'm excited to head back to the OG. Ocean's Gate is, where we spent a lot of our time, it is a mountainous savanna island biome. And um, when I built there, 
I really didn't get that into role-playing the builds. Uh, and when we return, we definitely will. In my mind, the people who live at Ocean's Gate, they're, um, they're not farmers. They're, I think, I think they're going to be the, the, they're going to be a, a successful sort of merchant class. Um, people come to trade with them and they, they might be the ones that have, have the elytra. They might be the ones, maybe that's their great resource, is that they make those flying wingsuits. And that's why the people of Hollow Grove and the other settlements will eventually build, come to trade, and come to visit Ocean's Gate. It's got to be a metropolis. It's got to be magnificent. And um, I think uh, I think we're going to be doing some work. We're going to make it a lot bigger and a lot more expansive. And we're going to build into the mountainside and up the mountainside vertically. Um, guys, I think I probably have a little bit of a journey, but, um, I am going to take the first break in this video, the first video in a very long time in this series, and, um, I will come back to you when we are in view of the magnificent Ocean's Gate. The moon is almost setting, and I think any moment now, the magnificent island of Ocean's Gate will be coming into view. This is our map. Uh, as you can see, uh, the big co snowy continent on the left, that's Hollow Grove, and maybe about a quarter of the way down the coast is where we built, and in the top right corner of that map, I can't remember, I haven't played uh, uh, the current version of Minecraft in a while, so I can't remember the quick mode of getting that into your hand, but here's the full version. Yeah, top right corner, to very top right, that is Ocean's Gate, and that's where we're headed. And oh, oh, the moon's rising. I'm a fool. Okay, we the night has just begun, and um, I so, yes, okay, so we're headed east. That makes sense. Perfect. My brain's finally working. So this thing is going to come into sight, guys. Now, my original plan when I started this series uh, with the first video on my channel ever um, that's still I think probably one of my top five most viewed videos my original plan was to stay here forever and over the course of, over the life of my YouTube channel to build and build magnificent things and up until yes that's it. If y'all have never seen this, welcome. Welcome to Building with UTC. This is the biggest and best place we've ever built. Uh, it's magnificent. I adore it. Um, that was my plan all along. Uh, some weird noises. And guys, you may hear some weird noises in the background. It is a stormy night where I live in Canada on my farm. Thunder and lightning crackling outside. It's a scary night. Uh, so this is the this is it. This is the OG. You can see it's all lit up. Builds all along here, but we we're barely just started. We we're gonna we are gonna transform this place, and I am so happy to be back here. Um, my original plan, guys, was to stay here forever, but I thought, and I wanted to get your thoughts on taking building with UTC to a multiplayer world. Um, to play on a server with some other great YouTubers. It's been on my mind a lot lately, and I wonder if I'd avoid these little lapses in inspiration if I had some great people to play with and I was surrounded by inspiring builds. I don't know. Let me know what you think, guys. I uh, know some people 
who play on servers. Welcome, by the way. I'm going to show you. I'm going to travel through uh, this place and show it off to you. Um, close that. You can see out all over the place out here. Uh, you can't actually see that much of it. I'll close these. Uh, this, I think, leads nowhere in particular at the moment. I mean, I could get out this way, but we've got a crazy cool... I gotta put a build in this hole. I gotta put a build in this hole. And you know what? Let's go the long way. Uh, I have a tunnel through here that leads me up to the house that you just saw uh, out that, that uh, hole in the wall. This out here was a tree farm. I've managed to get it working a little bit, but um, I kind of hate the build. I just don't like the way it looks. It really stands out in stark contrast to the other builds on this uh, island. Now, back to the idea of a server, guys. Since I've been on the Iron Mine server in Ark, I've met a lot of cool Minecrafters, and um, a lot of the people on that server play on Minecraft servers. And I think, just watching some of their videos, I think it would be great to be surrounded by other people uh, who are excited for Minecraft, but that the sad thing is that would mean leaving this world, leaving this place where we've done all that building. And um, just rest assured, as long as this series takes place in my single player world, the world that has Ocean's Gate and Hollow Grove, uh, I'm going to continue building. Uh, I hope that the long breaks in this series go away. And at the very least, I'm going to try and get you guys a video every week. So we got this, this is one of the only farm buildings up here. We got a little bit of wheat growing all up around. But once we get up here, you guys are going to see some of the, the more uh, lofty builds that we've managed to put together. Uh, I think we should go up on the roof and you get a good view of everything. So uh, obviously, this is our little farm building. I've got a couple over here, another one over there. And you can see every point on here has been built on. Like I said, we got a lot to do. Oh, I don't have the Elytra on. Right, okay, I tried to fly. Fool. Okay, we'll go through here in a minute, and I'll try and fly over to the other side uh, when I actually put it on. Uh, but this, these builds are actually, this one especially, is quite small. We got paths out uh, to where I want to build in the future, and this is the one of the last spots we actually took some time to stop and build. Uh, bridges over this crazy canyon is so dangerous up here. And a mighty build here. There's nothing inside it. Um, but I got more cool stuff to show you. Uh, so let's head out this way through these double doors. And I'll reintroduce you to this place. So we get this little build. Uh, I think a lot of work needs to be done on the interiors of these. But I built this glass balcony long before the existence of the Elytra. And it kind of worked out perfect. So let's throw this wingsuit on. If you guys have not seen it, you just run and hopefully you double jump and then you glide. Uh, let's go in F5 mode. And I'll see if I can make this happen. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. I'm going to take you up and over to the biggest and best build on this island. Oh, good. There's freaks everywhere. Okay. Let's hustle. Let's go. I can't fight in, in third person mode, so we're going to run. Live to fight another day. Stay away, creeps. Uh, this is uh, the last thing I built, and I built it in, in between Season 1 and 2 uh, on this series. So, let's get in first-person mode and turn around in case we got some fools following us up here. Oh, look at that. Look at that sunrise. Magnificent. So, this is a build that I really want to expand. Uh, I did a little bit on the interior, but it's not even practical. And this... This courtyard, it needs a ton of work. The build wraps all the way around, and um, I think, let me see. Let's go look around, because it's been a while since I've been back here. So I've kind of lost my way through here into the courtyard, right? But we got wings to this place. So, little uh, little pass through here, and this, this is a room that I like. It's really dynamic. It's got a lot going on. Uh, that is the, the pathway. 
but um, you got a great view that out this window of some of our bigger builds. Uh, you got a little kind of shelf corner up here. We got skylights. And then this window, this window makes me think library. It makes me think chapel or church. Uh, we're playing, by the way, with the B-dubs building pack. b o my favorite YouTuber, inspires this series. And, uh, and I want to honor him with this building pack. It's very vanilla, as you probably didn't notice until you saw the glass. This feels like a vanilla texture pack, but there's all kinds of little detail blocks that are just slightly different, and I love it. So this tower has a little water elevator, and um, it's got bridges coming off it at some some angle. So this, I think, is the other pathway. This one doesn't isn't filled with windows, but it leads right back into the main room, which is pretty sweet. Um, so like I said, we got work to do here. Uh, I don't know. Whoa. I forgot about that. I don't know how much of it we're going to do in this episode. This is sort of just a reintroduction to the OG. Uh, and let's see if I can manage this. Come on. Come on, fool. Get up there. Perfect. Okay. So we got a little room here. And what's down here? I don't know. I really don't know. Let's continue upward. And this will take us to the top of the tower. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. The top of the tower which has a bridge coming from it which as you will see leads back to a big house i showed you the other side of oh god it's so scary up here i'm glad this is why you need the elytra and this the verticality the sheer heights and the dangerous bridges this is why i think these people would live in high altitudes this is why i think that they would be the flyers they would be the ones that glide they fly to where they need to go. They don't ride horses. They don't take roads. They glide like mother effing eagles. And that's what we're going to do to end this very brief episode, guys. Uh, I'm going to keep this one short. Uh, and if you're excited to see me back here, you got to let me know. Let's go. Oh, there we go. We're flying now. Perfect. And I didn't show you out here, but we got some big builds out that way. We got a ton of builds down this way and uh this landscape is a little pockmarked by creeper holes i have to admit but um there's a lot that we can do here um so let me know if you're excited to see me back let me know what you want me to work on first and uh, more importantly let me know how you'd feel about me leaving this world to go build on a server to go build with other minecrafters and other youtubers and to introduce you guys to all of them Joining the Iron Mine server and ARC has been great for me. I've learned a lot, and a few new people have been introduced to this channel. And I think the same thing would happen if we were to play Minecraft with others instead of, oh, by our lonesome. Now, you guys will always be with me, no matter where I build, no matter what. Come on, fool, die. There we go. No matter where I build, and no matter what I do in Minecraft, I know you guys will follow me. I know you watch, but let me know what you want to see most. Stay here, build, make this place amazing, but be lonely, or potentially head to a server and build bigger and better things. This world is still young. We're maybe less than 30 episodes deep building, and there are a few episodes where I don't even build, and definitely a few where I don't build anything great. Uh, so if we were to move on, I feel like we could accomplish what we've accomplished here in a much shorter time. Uh, but for the time being, I'm going to continue this. I'm going to try and make Ocean's Gate everything it could be. And you guys let me know what you think. Get lost, dude. This is not a fighting episode, but these freaks keep coming out of the woodwork. Okay, let's go F5 mode, and y'all can see my beautiful Braveheart War Painted face. Geeks, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm starting to say this at the end, but if you guys... If you've made it this far, if you've watched to the end of this video and you are not a Unite the Clan subscriber, do it. Hit that little button. And for those of you that already are, if you look down beside my name and where it says how many subscribers, I have 380 something. There's a little like gear symbol. If you click on that, you can let yourself be notified when I post videos. Now, don't do it unless you really want to be notified. I post videos almost every day. Uh, but if you do want to be notified press that dang button and you will not miss a thing i do in minecraft in arc alone on a server whatever geeks that's gonna do it for this return to oceans gate episode of building 
with UTC. Thank you so much for watching and sound off in those comments on everything I've talked about in this episode. And I will see you geeks in the next episode.